Hey guys, it's Trice here, back with Automation, the Car Company Tycoon game, and what you're seeing right now is one of my latest builds that's literally called the Classic Roblox Car. This 3D fixture built car is an extended version of an early Roblox sedan made in the late 2000s. If you're an old head like me and the platform, you may have seen a vehicle similar to this in the past. Since this car performs slowly in the game, I decided to spice things up by adding a small but powerful engine. Anyways, I'll explain the details of this car throughout this portion of the video. It has a lap time of 1 minute 29 seconds 20 milliseconds at the quote-unquote Top Gear test track and 2 minutes 32 seconds 60 milliseconds at the automation track. It has a top speed of 180 miles per hour and a 0 to 60 in 5.22 seconds. This vehicle is powered by a 3-liter V8 engine that produces 257 horsepower and 220.3 pounds-feet of torque. It has a fuel efficiency rating of 38.3 miles per gallon and weighs 2,120.5 pounds, which equals to 961.8 kilograms. And now, let's go over the specs of this vehicle. In terms of how I made the classic Roblox car, the panel material will be made out of regular steel with a monocoque chassis made out of regular steel. With a front launch to a bunch of place, but as you obviously can see because I hid the engine, and both the front and rear suspensions both use a solid axle coil front and back. For the engine, it's a V60 degree V8 engine made out of cast iron, with the bore set to an 81.8 millimeters, and the stroke is set at a 71 millimeters, which gets the engine size to 2,985 cubic centimeters, or round it up equals to 3 liters. And we're using some dual overhead cam 4 valves made out of cast iron. For the balance shaft, we're going to be using a harmonic damper to reduce the chance of the crankshaft from exploding. And speaking of the crankshaft, we're using a forged steel material crankshaft with the cow rod set to lightweight forged and the pistons are set to a regular forged. For the compression, it is set to an above normal of a 10.1 to 1 ratio with the cam profile set to a 48 and the springs and lifters want this up just a tad to a 57. And to boost the performance a little bit, decide to add VVT only for the intake, not all cams because, well, I want to be different this time. For the fuel system, we're using a multi-point EFI of a single throttle setup with a variable intake running on regular fuel. With the fuel mixture set to a 14.2, the ignition timing set to a fairly advanced setting of a 74, and the RPM limit is set to a fairly high 8,000 RPM. And lastly, for the exhaust, we're using some tubular headers with a single exhaust, and for the exhaust diameter, it is set to a 69.8 millimeters, which that equals to about 2.75 inches. And for the catalytic converter only, just a high flow three-way catalytic converter and no first and second mufflers whatsoever. And real briefly, give you here what this engine sounds like because, well, you can't hear it in Roblox, but you can hear it in automation, so just right now. Yeah, I told you Roblox has done on this. So for the second half of this vehicle here, so for the body that I've used, just strictly for, like, the wheelbase and everything, so the body that I've used is a mod, which I'll show you up on screen right now. The name of it, if you were to download it, it's 55 underscore 18 underscore F6 underscore FE. It's a 1951 vehicle with a 1.8 meter wheelbase. So now heading over to the drive type of this vehicle. So we're using a rear drive setup of a manual 5 speed with the top speed set to 180.2 miles per hour. And on top of that, we're going to get a lot of wheel spin with the first gear and second gear. And to not combat this because, well, with Roblox, this never existed. We're only restricted to an open differential. For the tires, we're using some radial hard long life tires in the front and rear tire, which each set to 265 millimeters. And on top of the tires, I forgot to tell you this. This is strictly for the sliders, but on the advanced fixture settings, we go on to fixtures and advanced trim settings in the 4.2 beta version of automation. You scroll out here to wheel width, and then I set this bad boy to a 50 for the front and rear wheels to get them pretty much each set to a uh, wide boy like you see in Roblox. And on top of the wheels here, we're running on some 12-inch steel rims. I don't know if these are their actual rim sizes in the game or not, so it's close enough. For the brakes, we're using some drum brakes to the front and back. So the front is a drum two shoe with its size set to 220 millimeters, and the rear is a single shoe drum with its size set to 160 millimeters. 
So for the airflow of the vehicle, aerodynamics, no under tray, no brake airflow. So for the interior of this vehicle, what we can see here, we got ourselves a four-seater because, well, even though this is a pretty wide seat up in here, if I go to free cam, even though this is a wide seat, well, I can put like three people in here, but in the game of Roblox, there's an individual wide seat for each. So like, this is a seat right here, and this is a seat here for the back seat and the front seat right here too. So the interior, pretty basic, with a basic CD player if you want, like, you know, a GUI that has, like, in search of Roblox ID to play music, all that type of stuff like some games have. So for the safety, all that good stuff, no power steering, no traction aids, and no safety standards whatsoever. And wrapping things up with the suspension, very basic. Standard springs, twin two dampers, passive sway bars, running on a full bone racing preset. Despite having a ton of problems with this vehicle, which I'll list them all right here, such as wheel spin issues, brake for speed too low, power steering, oversteering, right high frequency, damper speed 2R, brake for speed too high for the rear, engine baby control, clearance issues, wheel spin, rear tire roll profile, front and rear tires being wide, and some brake fade issues. Let's head on over to BMG Drive and play like a Robloxian. So here we are at the map of Italy, and taking a brief look at this vehicle, well, first things first, we got the, oh boy, the freaking back bumper, the plastic black back bumper, I believe this is dark stone gray and Roblox colors, is jiggling big time. Well, probably when I put this into Beam and G, like, upload this as a mod, I'll try to clean it up right here. So elsewhere about the vehicle, if I were to compare this side by side and part by part, whatever, of this here vehicle and the Roblox version of the sedan, basically it's just a two-seater of this car. But look at elsewhere about the vehicle, like at every corner, every side, it's pretty much just spot on from the headlights, which I have working headlights, same thing with the turn signals for the front and back end, including the brake lights, as you see right here, and reverse lights. So the lights do work at BMG, and pretty much everything about the vehicle, how blocky it looks, and just the setup is just mainly spot on of a near Roblox replica of an old Roblox sedan. Or we'll just say Roblox vehicle. Roblox two-seater, not a Roblox, and an automation BMG drive, a Roblox four-door sedan. And a side note, with no mufflers, this thing is hella loud. So with this part of the video, I'm going to be doing the base performance test to test out this year's vehicle. Our main test we're doing is a 0 to 62 acceleration test. After doing so, will be a 62 to 0 brake test. And after doing that, we're going to be doing a top speed run, which this year's vehicle having a 3 liter V8 engine. There's a fair chance that it could make it from this end of the runway through way over here, which is probably like a mile or so down the road or whatever. But there's a chance it could make it, but who knows. So let's get ready to launch this year's bad boy in 3... Two, one, go. Here we go, first gear, major wheel spin, and shift up. Second gear we go, 0 to 62 in 6.38 seconds of 298.69 feet. That's a really nice number, folks. So for the brake time, let's downshift. Let's see, go up. Uh, give me a second, this thing's pretty damn incompetent. All right, showing 68 right here to cruise control. Airspeed 62, brake. Hard on the brakes. No ABS if we're drifting to the side. There we go. 62 to 0 at 3.18 seconds of 134.04 feet. Since this vehicle slid because, well, got no ABS brakes and some fairly strong brakes for this type of vehicle, well, not a big fan of time-wise, but distance-wise seems fairly below average, but whatever, who knows about this. So for a top speed run already in effect, we do get a better, slightly better 0 to 62 in 6.25 seconds of uh -huh, 293.35 feet. Fourth gear we go, we're generating out of wheel speed 140, but 135, let's see, 150, 139 the air speed. 160, 148, so top speed run is a fail. 151 miles there, probably 150 something before dismounting right there, so into the fence we go. Let's hide the UI and 60 times slow mo, go. Well, unfortunately, the vehicle did not like crumble to a pile of bricks like you see in Roblox, but we got a soft body physics of this here vehicle, so full time. How is this engine still running? I mean, you hit a uh, you hit the fence, a solid ass fence of 150 miles an hour. So let me put this as a flatland real quick, and 
What is this here? Is this like a drag strip like mission or something? It is a drag race. Oh, that's cool. You know, you can do drag races in Italy. And Rip goes a tire, and here we go onto some flat land. Let's shut off the engine, so let me talk here. Well, unfortunately, like I just said, did not go to a pile of bricks, so with the vehicle's damage here, right side seems okay, front side, oh boy, this is pretty bad. Left side, kind of bad is the right side, and the rear end, well, still glitchy with this rear bumper that's, like, phasing through the, the lights and everything. So coming up here, we're gonna be doing a time trial run at the automation test track with the full racing circuit with this here vehicle. Every we're doing two laps here in the noon hours, and we got six other vehicles that we have to beat. First place is 4 minutes, 31 seconds, 556 milliseconds of an unknown car that I've disabled in my repository. So I'll take it there right now. So here we are at the start and finish line, a little ways back here, and we got some major amount of smoke coming from the exhaust because, well, it might be cold, or it might be in the Arctic weather, but who knows. So get ready to start off this time trial in 3, 2, 1, launch a little, go. Major wheel spin, and we'll do the beaming G upshift to downshift. No, let's just do it automatically and brake. God damn, we're controlling like this is freaking Roblox or something. Like, you're just sliding left and right, left and right, and then just wipe out. I'm pretty much living the classics with this powerful V8 engine and just being uncontrollable this vehicle. And good old beaming G upshift to downshift because of the severe amount of wheel spin. How about oversteering? It's said it oversteers, right? It doesn't oversteer, but... Yeah, it doesn't oversteer like it said. Like it said oversteer, but it didn't. And hitting the brakes... Yeah, we're out of control when we tap on the brakes. I mean, <laughs> these are drum brakes, not too big, but we're just sliding all over the place. Even some light... I mean, light... Look at this, 20... That was around 40%. We're starting to lock up. That This is this is pretty bad. Okay, how about this curve up ahead going 150, 146 at airspeed. We're understeering. Okay, thank God for that drag that slowed us down. So how about this corner? Let's just break now. Pop up the brakes. Slow down. Jiggle in the back bumper. And we're wiping out. No, 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 no. We're good. Sure, I could use traction control and ABS brakes out here, but I decided to put a challenge by not having ABS brakes in this vehicle to relive that Roblox feeling, the old school Roblox feeling of having an uncontrollable vehicle sweating left and right, left and right, crash into a wall, crash into a building, and you just try again. Try again to not crash your damn car, kind of like your driving games from like the 2010s, the gold ages of Roblox that use some blocky ass vehicle similar to this or just using a vehicle just exactly like this or the, the two-seater and two-door one like I've shown you earlier. Man, this is so scary to drive this car. It's unpredictable. Like that wheel spin and God, that, that thing was jiggling the front left tire. <laughs> well, minor damage. We can continue. Oh no, we're auto steering real hard to the right. Oh my god, for that type of impact? Jeez. I mean, the tires stick out like they do in Roblox, but still, we're auto steering hard. First lap time, 3 minutes, 16 seconds, 895 milliseconds. I can't do it, Squidward. We're radiator leaking, so we might have to blow the engine up real soon because, well, I can't drive. I suck at driving this vehicle. According to the split time, we're doing just as good compared to first lap. Are you kidding me, man? And second of all, that temperature needle, the temperature gauge is starting to go high up in here. It's about to hit the overheating line, which I think it'll grow orange. That means we're about to be... Oh my god, overheating really soon. I'm going in fifth gear. I oh got downshift, so don't rev too high. Okay, starting to overheat. Don't rev too high. Just keep it simple. Keep it easy. Hey, give me to the finish line and crash this vehicle and then take this out somewhere to fully crash this out at a high speed, like car jumper rain or somewhere. How about this split time? Cool and overheating. A four, a three quarter second gap between the first lap and second lap, so it's gonna be a horrible lap time here, folks. If my car would have been auto steering to the right really hard, we probably would have finished already. So we got a few corners to go up in here, so the temperature gauge is pretty much at like red dead right now. It's almost 100% full, but it hasn't said anything about like the car rods are blowing, pistons, all that good stuff. It hasn't said that just yet. Well, mainly it's pistons and the head gasket are the main ones that breaks, and then after that, the edge just goes kabooey and game over. Alright, let's not wipe out here. Not wipe out here. Good, now we're not- Well, I said it. I had to say it. Tap that, and... Head gasket's damaged. 
Well, editor produced. Please. Get me to the start and finish line, please. Get it myself there, so we're gonna get a second lap time of 3 minutes, 25 seconds, 277 milliseconds, which gets the total time of 6 minutes, 42 seconds, 172 milliseconds. The worst time out of all these vehicles. And since we're in slow motion already, hide the UI, camera as is, smash these tire barriers, there goes that plastic tire. And we're pretty much all good to go, so go to free room right now. So we're smoking up a storm up in here after breaking the head gasket, so that suspension's exposed, that tire's gone, and else around the vehicle is screwed up because the time trial and his here crash wedging ourselves into tire barriers. So as promised, let's head on over to Car Jump Arena to see if this Roblox sedan will live to its true times of a classic Roblox vehicle of being uncontrollable and just blocky as so. So take it here to the top of the ramp right now. So here we are at the top of the ramp here, so we got a 3 light, a 4 light, and a 5 light, so get ready to accelerate this here bad boy right now. Green light, so accelerate as so. Accelerating. Wheel spin, so let's just pay attention right now. So, 0 to 60, 5.3, uh, 5.30 seconds at 212.29 feet. So we got a 0 to 60, somewhat similar to what we got in automation, so that's good. Top speed, 165, almost got the top speed that we got in automation. So let's break here, and this is gonna be bad, so 4 times solo. Damn, son. So, end over end, full time. End over end, right? No, flip it over into the tower. Into that light tower, but not at the uh, lifeguard tower. So, bis to pull, hit the light pull, bis to lifeguard tower, and here we are right here. The edge still runs as so for some odd reason, and we got some critical damage, you can see, with the, oh man, left side of the vehicle, as it caves in and collapses, all that good stuff. And the right side doesn't seem that bad, which is surprising. Rear end, fairly bad. Front end, also fairly bad. So for the last part of the video, as I accelerate as so with the body jiggling, and I can try to get myself steady up in here, is that we crash my cells at the final bridge pillar at a high speed to get a high speed crash test going. So let's get ready to pop uh, the curb here. Pop the curb. Slowly. Good. Good. Got to steer in. 154 miles an hour right into the bridge pillar. So 60 times slow mo. Get a camera going right now. And let's do that play a funky music white boy type of camera. So go to 16 to 800 times. So camera, car, let's see, car, here we go. There goes pieces of the vortex, uh, the vortex is about the piece of the car just poking out where like a freaking shank up in here. And here goes the vehicle, just completely mangled up, flattened up, so full time. Okay, good. So finally, for a collision like this, the main engine is broken. As you can see here, it's red, and we got no RPMs, no revolutions per minute. And Mr. Tire, could you please piss off? Thank you, Mr. Tire. So he'll do that as so. So let's back this boy up and take a look at this here vehicle for the final time. So the car is hella damaged. We got what appears to be the suspension. Well, let's see here. The engine, suspension... The thingamajig, well, let's just say, no, that's the transmission. The transmission, it's a shank right here. Just don't get too close to it, folks. So yeah, front end is completely mangled up. Left side, completely mangled up. And rear side, it's harmed. Right side, completely mangled up. So that'll do it with automation and BMG drive with the classic Roblox car. But with this vehicle in terms of just overall design and everything, well, it's pretty much, like I said, pretty fairly accurate to a Roblox vehicle made in the late 2000s. I believe this was made in like 2012 or something, something like around that time period. So overall design, pretty much mainly spot on to an old Roblox sedan, Roblox coupe, Roblox truck, all that good stuff. And on top of that, of how uncontrollable and unpredictable this car is, from the engine, to the brakes, and the general handling of this vehicle. And for those who are interested in this type of content, please be sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss out on any videos like this in the future, and also check out my social media down in the description below. So this is Tries Racing Up, and signing out.